Oh, this is easy. This is part two of adding thickness with a Z modeler. And I'm kind of going to jump back a step here because I did a video of part one with tip. And I kind of jumped the gun and I'm going to show you how to correct it. Okay. Um, in my first video, it appeared that I had some interfaces. And, and this one here, you can see, I can see right through it. Actually, it has some faces, but you can't see them unless you go down from the tools down to display property into double. Um, for me to add thickness, you what you do is you right click over face, Q remesh, all polygons for target. Um, when you grab the face here, you drag in and until it snaps. All right, well, that was one of the ways. Um, the people that were doing it with the double off, that's this is what they were seeing. Um, it was looking a little funny. That's because the faces are flipped. Um, now we can flip them all like this. Then we don't have double on, so it doesn't really matter. So now it's actually working like it should. So if it looks a little funny, when you do it, it's because the faces were flipped. So if I go back here, turn off double, and try doing the same thing, this is what's going to happen. Just because the faces are flipped. So basically when you want to do it is you want to make sure the double's on and then you can go about your business then turn it off, flip it, then everything's correct. Okay, in this next step I'll show you how to fix another error. Um, I'm just going to add an edge here. Uh, before I do, we'll just go to the double on here and add an edge here. And we're going to try adding thickness and it's not working okay it could be a couple things it could be um this edge needs to be mirrored to that side for that to happen we want to make sure this object is centered because anytime you use any kind of transformation transpose tools this thing will get out of whack or any kind of deformation settings here so to center that back up we'll press, press unify all right Alright, I want to go ahead and keep the right side because this is where I wanted to add the edge. So we're going to flatten that. And I believe that, I think that's on the Z side here. So I'm going to click the Z and move the slider to the left. You can move it to the right or left. You can see what side I want. I want to keep that side. We are on the Z here. We're going to go to geometry. And we're going to also uncheck the X here and mirror on the Z. Okay, this possibly not might not work, and it might work. Let's try that again, and it still didn't work. So what we really probably need to do is we need to mirror this top half to the bottom, make it kind of uniform here. So we're going to need to do that on the Y. Deformation. We're going to flatten that on the Y. We want to keep the top half. Geometry, uh, modify topology, and we're going to select the Y. Press mirror and weld, and this time I'm pretty sure that it will work. And don't forget to go down to uh, display properties, and we'll just turn double off so we can see what's going on. Looks kind of screwed up, and we'll just flip these. Um, some of these mirror and welds, you can actually make uh, macros for these, so you don't have to, you know, go through all that stuff to just to do one little thing. It's, you know, just click a button and it should be as simple as that. Anyway, I think that's going to wrap up this part.